Hi, church family. Here's some hope for Monday. So in our services, we talked about living for God. The reason why we live, the reason why we exist, the reason why we go to work, the reason why we have a family, the reason why we are here in this place and in this time. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6 says, There is one God, the Father, from whom are all things and for whom we exist. So our freedoms, our rights, our gifts, our possessions, our relationships, our abilities, all that we have, all that we are, all that we ever hope to be are for him, for God. It's not for ourselves, not for our preferences, not for our likes or dislikes, but for God. That's the, that is the critical biblical truth that needs to just move from our head to our heart as we start our Monday. That whatever comes our way, that the meeting that we're going to have later on this morning, that the telephone conversation that we're going to uh, share in, that the email that we're going to be giving, that uh, the conference that's going to take place, that the work that we're going to do, it's going to be for God, that God in his mercy and in his grace and in his love, he has entrusted us with forness, that we are his representative, we are his ambassador, that when people see us, they think of him. Uh, we talked Sunday about a very important piece of truth, and that is this, that spending time with the people of God, with the people of Jesus, is, is the closest experience to walking with Christ himself. That's our calling. That's our vision for today, that when people leave their experience with us, they walk away thinking, so that's what it's like to have walked with Jesus. Heavenly Father, may that truth be true in all of our uh, conversations and in our work and in our relationships today. Help us by your Holy Spirit to represent you, that we may live a life for you, for your glory and the good of others. We pray in Jesus' name and the church said, amen.